न्यूक्लिक एसिड्स न्यूक्लिक एसिड्स आर बेसिकली रिपोर्टेड फर्स्ट टाइम इन 1869 बाय अ स्विस फिजिशियन ही वाज अ साइंटिस्ट हिज नेम वाज फ्रेडरिक मीशर ही आइसोलेटेड अ न्यू काइंड ऑफ मोलिक्यूल फ्रॉम द न्यूक्लियस ऑफ द पर्सल्स and this molecule was different from the carbohydrates proteins and lipids so frederick mission named this new kind of molecule nuclein he named it nuclein because he found it in the nucleus of the pus cells and later in 1920 it was renamed as nucleic acid because of its acidic nature Nucleic acids are of two types DNA and RNA DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid and RNA is ribonucleic acid both DNA and RNA are composed of polymers of nucleotides it means it is composed of many units many subunits of nucleotides DNA you can see it is a double stranded molecule it is in the form of duplets and RNA is a single stranded molecule nucleotide as i told you that dna and rna both chains are composed of polymers of nucleotides so let's see the structure of nucleotide so nucleotides are composed of pentose sugar nitrogenous bases and phosphate groups we will discuss each of them one by one so here you can see these two are the pentose sugars the first one is known as deoxyribose and the other one is ribose deoxyribose it means removal of oxygen so at carbon number 2 there is only hydrogen atom present in deoxyribose which is found only in dna and in ribose sugar at carbon number 2 hydroxyl group is present which is found in rna ribose sugar is found in rna if this hydroxyl group is replaced by hydrogen atom then it is it becomes deoxyribose because there is no difference in both sugars except this hydroxyl and hydrogen group at carbon number 2 both these sugars are similar almost similar both have five carbon atom for example carbon number 1 this is the carbon 2 carbon 3 carbon 4 and carbon 5 similarly in ribose this is the carbon 1 carbon 2 carbon 3 carbon 4 and carbon number 5 so both are almost similar but the difference lies at carbon number 2 you can see here okay next is the phosphate group next is the phosphoric acid because as i told you that nucleotide is composed of pentose sugar nitrogenous bases and phosphate group so here is the phosph phosphoric acid phosphoric acid is composed of phosphate group and it is acidic in nature because you can see here oxygen atom is losing the proton and getting the negative charge so because of this negative charge because of the negative charge of the phosphoric acid both dna and rna got negative charge on it the third component of nucleotide is nitrogenous bases nitrogenous bases include pyrimidines and purines purines are adenine and guanine and both dna and rna will have adenine and guanine and pyrimidines include cytosine uracil and thymine both dna and rna have cytosine in it but uracil is found only in rna and thymine is found only in dna let's see the structural differences between pyrimidines and purines you can see pyrimidines are single ringed structures and purines are double ringed pyrimidines are six carbon containing ring you can see the first six basically atom containing ring 1 2 3 4 5 and 6th one but here in purine a six membered ring and a five membered ring fuse to form purines let's see what is the difference between cytosine th uracil and thymine 
साइटोसिन इन साइटोसिन यू कैन सी डेट एट कार्बन नंबर फोर एन एच टू ग्रुप इज प्रेजेंट एंड इन यूरेसिल कार्बोनाइल ग्रुप इज प्रेजेंट एट कार्बन नंबर फोर इन थाइमीन कार्बोनाइल ग्रुप इज प्रेजेंट एट कार्बन नंबर फोर एंड एट कार्बन फाइव मिथाइल ग्रुप इज प्रेजेंट एज वेल सो दीज आर द स्ट्रक्चरल डिफरेंसेज बिटवीन साइटोसिन यूरेसिल एंड थाइमीन Other than this, the structure is same. Both have six carbon. Both have six atom containing ring. Both have this carbonyl carbon, carbonyl group at carbon number two. This one. So the so the difference lies here that at carbon four, an H two group is present in cytosine. At carbon four, four carbonyl group is present in uracil, and carbonyl and methyl. Both groups if they are present on a ring. then it is what we call thymine next purines purines are two ring structures in adenine what happens in adenine that nh2 group is present at carbon 6 but in guanine this carbonyl group is present at carbon number 6 so this is the difference between adenine and guanine and both these are purine and both are found in dna as well as rna adenine will have nh2 group and guanine have c double bond o group in it here you can see a complete structure of nucleotide as i told you nucleotide composed of sugar this is a sugar if 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 at carbon number 2 hydroxyl is present then it is rna and if hydrogen is present then it is dna here is the nitrogenous base it is linked with the carbon number 1 of the ribose sugar and here is the phosphate group or phosphoric acid which is linked with the carbon 5 of the sugar so this is the structure of nucleotide and here nitrogenous base is linked with carbon number 1 of the sugar and phosphate group is linked with carbon number 5 of the sugar and both and and these three components made a nucleotide here is the difference between nucleoside and nucleotide in nucleoside nitrogenous base is linked with the pentose sugar this is a molecule without the phosphate group but nucleotide is a molecule with the phosphate group you can see the phosphate group is linked with the pentose sugar and pentose sugar is also linked with the nitrogenous base so without a phosphate group it is nucleoside and with the and with the phosphate group it is nucleotide here you can see the structure of atp and atp is a mononucleotide atp is a mononucleotide why it is mononucleotide because it is composed of one nucleotide it has ribose nitrogenous base and phosphate group so here you can see that when the ribose is attached or is linked with the nitrogenous base adenine why it is adenine because it is first of all it is a double a uh, double ring structure so it is purine and purines are two types adenine or guanine and it is adenine because here the nh2 group is present if the carbonyl group is present here then we call it guanine so it is adenine nitrogenous base this is ribose sugar because here at carbon number 2 hydroxyl group is present not the hydrogen atom otherwise it would be deoxyribose so both ribose and adenine when they link to each other they form adenosine they form a nucleoside not a nucleotide when the phosphate group is linked with ribose then we call it nucleotide so here when the when one phosphate group is linked with this ribose sugar we call it adenosine monophosphate adenosine monophosphate and when the second phosphate group linked when two phosphate groups are linked with the ribose sugar we call it adenosine diphosphate when three phosphate groups link with the ribose sugar we call it adenosine triphosphate 
adenosine monophosphate adenosine diphosphate adenosine triphosphate these are nucleotides because they have the phosphate group and we know that atp is an energy molecule it is basically uh, energy because when it is released it is released during the respiration process by oxidation and it is also known as oxidative phosphorylation and most of the atp in the cell is made in mitochondria here is the structure of nad NAD is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide it is a dinucleotide it means it is composed of two nucleotides atp is a mononucleotide as it is composed of only one nucleotide but this is a dinucleotide let's see this is the first nucleotide which is composed of nitrogen space which is nicotinamide nicotinamide this is nicotine amide okay na na for nicotinamide this is a ribose sugar because here the hydroxyl group is present and this is the phosphate group so three components are found in a nucleotide so this is the first nucleotide and second nucleotide is here in which this adenine sugar sorry adenine nitrogen space adenine nitrogen space is linked with the ribose sugar and here the phosphate group is also linked with the carbon 5 of the ribose sugar so this is the first nucleotide and this is the second nucleotide so that's why we call it dinucleotide and nad which is nicotine amide adenine dinucleotide is a coenzyme it works with dehydrogenase it also reduces this nad is reduced into nadh2 nad h2 we know that reduction is the gain of hydrogen so when it is reduced it forms nadh2 in the presence of oxidizing agent